Hey guys, this is Jordan with Seekins Precision. We're gonna go over some of the new stuff that we came out for SHOT Show 2019. So starting off, we're gonna have our MRAS system, so our mounted rail adjustment system, similar to what like an Arca Swiss would be with the scalloped edges. So if you need to attach something to the bottom of your SP3R handguard, any M-Lock style handguard, pop right on there. Do that and the T-nuts on the back. And then you can put on additional adjustments as well with just the M-Lock slots that are in the middle here. Um, so new for this year as well, we've got our rival line, standard pick rail. Instead of M-Lock screws or anything, it's gonna be just a push button system. So push it in on that side, depress the other side. Give it one second. And then snapped in, you're good to go. So you've got a new rail system on that handguard. Okay. Um, also works with our new M rack, so mounted rail adjustment clamp. So right there, just two pinch points here. And then it goes right over the M RAS. So wherever you need to set it at for whatever application you're doing, whether it's a bipod, uh, flashlight, laser, whatever it is you need to install quickly onto your handguard. You can do that using the m rack on the m -Raz. So, we also came out with a new single slot M-Lock edition. So just a little bit of a finger stop as well as, you know, something you can use on your barricade. If you're shooting two gun or whatever it happens to be. So actually dig that into the barricade itself. Help you stabilize your rifle, stabilize your shots, be ready to go. So it runs off the same system of just that single button. So force that into the M-Lock, pop it on, you're all set. Also comes with a quick detach section right there. So if you need to add a sling or anything like that. And then same principle, just the actual quick detach system right there. Same deal, single slot, push in the side with the button, snap in the other, you're good to go. We also have another rail section here. So the rival Omni. So if you want to attach a, either an Atlas bipod, something like that, Picatinny section, no problem. Can also work with a Harris bipod as well since it does have to mount onto like a sling stud. So that one will work either way for it. Same system, two buttons, snap it into your M-Lock section. Um, also have the MRAS rival. So if you're running off a shorter handguard, something along those lines, snap it into that M-Lock section. And then the M-Rack, the clamp, go right over that guy as well. So situational use of trying to use a bipod, having this, you can quickly slide on, having this already attached to your handguard, and you're all set. New as well for this year is gonna be our integrated rail attachment system. So all you'd have to do is inlet a traditional hunting stock. They're in that cupboard down there. Last. Integrated rail attachment system. Um, so all it was inlet the traditional hunting stock, tighten it down with the T-nuts, and then that gives you the option of running any M-lock attachments that we have here, or anything else on the market as well if you're looking for something else. Different lengths as well on the IRAS, as well as the MRAS, depending on what system you're trying to install it in, exactly what you're looking to do. We also came out with the Havoc Bravo a little bit before Christmas, just trying to get some extra advertising out there before SHOT Show. That way people will be ready to know what they're asking questions about. So it runs off of a KRG Bravo chassis. So new that we're using this year. It does come with the adjustable cheek piece on there. So if you do need to adjust the cheek rise for you for the cheek weld. Also comes with a series of spacers if you do need to extend the length of pull. So anywhere from two, 12 and 3 quarter inches out to about 14 and a quarter. Um, vertical palm swell, so intended more for PRS style shooting. Does come with a Timney 510 trigger, so single stage trigger, uh, adjustable from one and a half to four pounds. Um, does have our proprietary Havoc action on there still, the same that we had on the PH1 from last year, uh, that are still selling this year. Uh, so four locking lugs in there. Um, that lock on the side, so on the meat of the action. Um, the only thing we had to change on this 
to fit with this chassis system. Uh, just extending the bolt handle just by about a quarter of an inch is all. Otherwise, it's drop-in ready to go with this system. KRG does have a full-length aluminum chassis on it on the polymer frame and comes with full-length uh, M-lock section underneath, so if you wanted to attach something in there, good to go. Or if you wanted to put our MRAS system on there that we were looking at a little earlier. Other than that, everything machined in-house other than the chassis. Um, and then threaded for 5 8 by 24. Uh, muzzle brakes, suppressors, flash hiders, anything like that on there. So we will be making this in just the short action. So it'll be 308 win, uh, 6 millimeter Creedmoor and 6.5 Creedmoor. We will also be offering it in a 6.5 PRC. Uh, that one will run as opposed to a standard P mag, AICS pattern magazine. It'll come with an accurate mag, the DSSF model, without the binder plate. That way you can get that full length in there for that cartridge, which is slightly elongated. So other than that, that's just the Havoc Bravo that we came out with this year and are very excited about. Uh, availability, you know, get it shipped out to you within a few weeks within most cases. Uh, other than that, it's uh, ready to go for any PRS style shooting you're doing. Cool. All right, this is the Havoc PH-1, our uh, hunting rifle, came out with a couple years ago. So uses our carbon fiber stock on here, uh, weighs in at about 24 ounces. Uh, we Cerakote over it, uh, just give it a little more grip, different color option on there. Also comes with our carbon fiber magazine, at least in the 6.5 PRC model and the long action models. So weighing it in right about three pounds, doesn't weigh anything very rigid three round magazine for it uh, and that'll come with the long action and the 6.5 PRC. Our other short actions, so the 3.8 Win, 6mm Creedmoor and the 6.5 Creedmoor will ship with an AICS pattern magazine, usually just a PMAG 5 rounder. So still our proprietary Havoc action on there, still comes with a Timney 510 trigger, uh, single stage, adjustable from one and a half to four pounds come factory setting right about three pounds. Um, so it comes with a Rock Creek barrel blank that we get and then do all the machining work on. So any of the fluting, any of the threading, anything like that is actually done in-house. Just comes pre-rifled uh, from Rock Creek to us. So 5R button-pulled rifling, match-grade barrel. Um, other than that, the whole rifle weighs in at right about seven, 7.1 pounds. Carbon fiber makes it a little variable. And this one, lead time a little out there, approximately a few months. Uh, but once you have it ready to shoot out of the box, ready to go, as accurate as you can be. That's a Havoc PH-1. Very rough prototype for us here, so this is going to be our Havoc Ultralight. Uh, cheap gun is what we're looking to have it advertised as. So same carbon fiber stock you found on the PH-1, just with the actual carbon fiber weave on there. Still going to come with that carbon fiber magazine as well. Uh, this one going to be in a 6.5 PRC, so it'll still be that three round magazine. Uh, weighing in right now about five and three quarter pounds, working on getting it just a little bit lighter for that true ultralight hunting rifle. Uh, slightly different barrel contour on there as well compared to the PH1. Uh, much slimmer, much lighter, and then shaved off three inches off the end as well just to make it oops, sorry, a little bit lighter, still threaded for 5 8 by 24 thread patterns. Uh, it still has our Havoc spiral fluting on there. Uh, each rifle still hand bedded. This one would be more of a custom rifle. So price on it, approximately four grand or so. Uh, still trying to finalize all the details on that one. Um, other than that, still our Havoc proprietary action. And we're ready to go. So again, this is Jordan from Seekins Precision, just running through some of our new stuff, our PH1, Havoc Bravo, and then our new rail attachment systems. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at our website, SeekinsPrecision.com, or email us at sales at SeekinsPrecision.com. Thanks, you guys.